changes. In 1776, this great nation accepted that armed conflict was the only way to preserve our rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. If our founding fathers could only see us now. From Antietam to Amiens, Okinawa to Anchorage, we have fought. And now, the red menace is at our doorstep. Democracy itself is under threat of annihilation. That is why today, July 4th, 2076, 300 years after our great nation began, we gather together to honor the completion of Vault 76. This sprawling underground shelter may have been engineered by Vault Tech, but it was built by you, the good people of America, so that if the bombs do come, if the end does come, our way of life will endure. But not everyone will be saved. Those chosen to enter this vault must be our best and our brightest. For when the fighting has stopped and the fallout has settled, you must rebuild. Not just walls, not just buildings, but hearts and minds, and ultimately, America itself. So as we stand here today, we pray that the world will know peace. But if that is not our destiny, if war must come, we stand together knowing that here in Vault 76, our future begins.
have been tasked with nothing less than the rebuilding of America. Such a huge responsibility. Just know that vault -Tec is proud of you. I am proud of you. When you hear this, it means I've been gone for several hours. I've got my own mission out there in Appalachia. This is the Overseer, signing off. Message repeats in 24 hours. System right go. Hello. At last. Today is your reclamation day. I bet you're just bursting your bolts to get out there and see the world. No, and we're not likely to get one. It's been months. Besides, she left this place behind to reclaim America. It's past time you followed her example. Nothing at all. The exterior sensors were taken out of commission after that unfortunate business with the nuclear bombs. With so many of your friends having been gone so long, I cannot begin to speculate how they've transformed Appalachia already. Excellent. Adventure and opportunity awaits you, sir. The kiosks have valuable information to help you thrive out there. Best get cracking! Imagine dying of hunger or thirst. Remember, sir, Radex to prevent radiation sickness, Rad away to cure it. I know it's cozy in here. But you'll soon be faced with a distinct lack of power and shelter. Remember, you don't have to do it alone. Find friends, or make new ones. The camp is instrumental to the rebuilding of America. One gentleness and using rusty shack at a time. <laughs>
Overseer's log, or should I say, direct communication. Because whoever is listening to this had the moxie to try to find out where I've gone. But I'm glad you did. Truth is, I need your help. I've been given a task and I've decided to break protocol and tell you what it is. Because if there's one thing I've learned in these past few years, it's that we need to rely on each other. There were three active nuclear silos in Appalachia before the bombs fell. They blew up the world before. We can't let it happen again. So we've got to locate and secure all of the silos. Or die trying. Hopefully the former. But it's been 25 years. I just don't know what we're gonna find out there. Or where to start. My directive was to go to the nearest population center and assess the situation. I'll set up a camp on the way once I get my bearings. Find me there. Young ladies down there, they seem exceedingly alive. They haven't yet made any untoward advances, but perhaps you could speak to them? Verify their intentions are civil? Only that they appear to have some vested interest in accessing the vault. One seemed quite perturbed when I told them that wouldn't be happening. But I'm not sure if she believed me. I've been keeping watch here long enough to have learned that outside the vault, people don't always have one's best intentions at heart. I'm sorry to say it, but it's the truth. Until quite recently, it's been exceedingly peaceful. I maintained my post, greeted latecomers out of the vault, and otherwise reveled in Appalachia's natural splendor. But very recently, it seems people have come back to Appalachia. Those two and more to boot. The non-vault sort, you understand. It's all very concerning. Who knows what they might be up to? Well, yes, but it's been some time. But she was a resourceful woman. I, I'm, I'm sure she's all right. Oh, do be careful out there, sir. There's got to be 
be a way in there. Maybe... Wait, a vault dweller? H hey there! Whoa, whoa! Just a friend here, not a threat. Just had some questions for you. You came out of the vault, right? I thought it was empty. Wait, is the door still open? Son of a bitch, we missed our chance. We really needed that. We got a tip from the Wayward. Heard of the place? A new bar down the road. So this guy told us that... After you gave him the last of our caps? And he said that inside that vault is the... You know, that's where the big one is. Our last chance to turn our lousy luck around. You know, the thing that brought everyone back. The treasure. Well, yeah, there was this big broadcast, but shouldn't you know it was in there? I told you, Lacey. The guy was scamming us. But those were the last of our caps. No, someone has to know something. We're just gonna stick it out until we find them. Wonderful. Thanks for answering some questions for us, I suppose. Seems only fair I return the favor. Anything we can answer for you? They sent you out here without a weapon? Be a quick trip trying to do this unarmed. Here. Happy to tell you what I know, which isn't much. Someone made a broadcast not too long back about there being some kind of treasure buried in Appalachia. We don't know what, we don't know where. But with people as desperate as they are, it's meant everyone with a functioning radio has come back to try and see if they can get a piece of it. Monsters or no? Guy we met at the Wayward. Carter, I think was his name? He gave us a couple of leads to chase down. In exchange for all our money. Up to us now to make something of them. About Appalachia? Other than it's a graveyard? There's that. We haven't been here real long, but from what we've been able to piece together, the area got hit pretty hard. Not long after, well, these things showed up. The Scorched. They're merciless. They seem to have cleaned up whoever the bombs might have missed. Without people around, everything else has gone haywire. We both came over from Virginia. Well, what was Virginia? There's a lot more hot zones that way. And the few spots that are livable, well, they got picked clean fast. I mean, Appalachia's dangerous, really dangerous. But it's better than where we've been. Hmm. If your overseer crossed our path, she sure wasn't broadcasting it. Sorry. You might ask at the wayward. Seems like they set themselves up to be a natural stopping point. Watch yourself out there.
Duchess is damn lucky you showed up when you did. Hope she comped you a drink or two. Lady, I... Honey, you picked the wrong time to get a drink. What are you... Hey! Who the hell are you? None of your damn business! What's going on is that this one seems to think I know where this big treasure is and that I'm building my new bar out of refuse for fun. Lady, this is your last warning. Our crew is getting that treasure. And I will happily send you both to the great goddamn beyond if you don't start explaining where I can find what's ours. Treasure's our crew's business, not yours. And unless I start getting answers right now, I'm gonna start shooting people. Don't worry, I'll make it quick! <laughs> Don't you is gonna end badly. Now I'm hoping you're here to have a drink and play nice. I've had a gun pointed at me more than enough for one day. Huh, well not exactly the introduction to the wayward I would have hoped for. Well, sorry about that, darling. 
First round's on me. Name's Duchess. There's something I could do for you. Your guess is as good as mine, sweetheart. He busted in here saying I needed to turn over the location of some fella named Crane, who I guess I must have served at some point or another. Since then, a steady stream of miscreants has been making my life irritating. Not exactly good for a budding business. Now that you mention it, I could use an extra pair of hands. See? That boy you put down. He's not the first of his crew to roll in here. But I want him to be the last. Normally, I'd send my people out to clean house, but my muscles run off, so I don't have the bodies to spare right now. But I'm willing to pay good money if you put an end to this for me. So, what do you say? That's what I was hoping. So, the details. Now, each of these boys came in asking after Crane. I'm thinking we can make that work for us. How would you grab the attention of a bunch of single-minded thugs? Oh, darling. Um, see, as fine as that idea is, you know, I was thinking we could take a different tact. Just give me one second. Okay, I think I'll just... Uh, I just want you to know, architecture ain't exactly my forte. Huh, not half bad. So what I have chicken scratched together here for you is the schematic for one custom-made Crane Treasure Hunting Inc. sign. If I didn't butcher the plans too bad, it's got a little system built in that'll make sending out an advertisement and getting this gang's attention a snap. You just need to build it, use the tape it spits out to tell the world you're open for business, and then convince any punks that show up to tell you where their boss is hiding. They did teach you all how to build from schematics up in that vault of yours, didn't they? You vault boys and girls carry yourselves different, like you matter. Plus, your pit boy was a dead giveaway, but that's beside the point. You think you can work from these schematics? Ah, oh, damn. Okay, okay, let's see, new plan. We paint all the Brahmin, and then we... That just... plan's fine. I can walk them through how to build it. How's that exactly? I was hunkering down for quite some time waiting for this headless monster thing to clear off on my last ammo hunt. Ended up reading some old training materials to pass the time, and guess what? Made some tapes on it. Oh, Mort. Not the tapes. You have a better option? Not one that doesn't involve painting all my cattle. There you go, I suppose. You can talk to Mort. Of Course you're gonna need materials, but we should have enough lying around to cover you there. Get you together a little care package. Throw some rations in there, too, so you don't starve on me. And so you know, you might have to break some of this scrap down for parts. But I can spot you some workbench materials, too, since you're doing me such a big one. Who knows? Maybe you'll learn something while you do it. Now, you ready to get this show on the road? Overseer, huh? So you must be the one. <laughs> no, I haven't seen her. But I have heard her. My people found a tape just on the other side of the road that it seems she left behind for one of her dwellers. Though it's a bit out of date now. Maybe it was waiting there for you. Happy to give it to you. So long as you're still willing to help us. Hot dog. Be good to have those dolts off our back at long last. Just make sure, once you find out where they're hiding, that their leader gets the message. The wayward gets left alone. And here, that overseer tape. 
Sounds like she set up that camp across the way so her people could get some practice in... self-reliance. Probably worth looking into if you think you could use a refresher. Crazy. Now that is just crazy. They hand you vault kitties, all this fancy equipment, and then just throw you to the wolves. Well, don't you worry that smooth little face of yours. You are in good company now, because around here, we look after one another. Now, what can I do for you? Allergies. Learn the hard way I can't stand within 10 feet of a strawberry. <laughs> Come on, man, that's a joke. Truth is, I was outside on doomsday. Now you see, I drove security, and I was coming back from a pickup in the truck when I feel this rumble, and then quiet, then a whole lot less quiet. And the truck was hit with this wind, and it was like someone dropped a hurricane on it. I can hear it battering the truck, bang, 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 like it's got a grudge against it. And then I unlocked the door and into the back, and then bang, I wake up, man, and it's crazy. Somehow, in the back of the truck, alive and kicking. All it cost me was my skin, and any opportunity for someone liking me for anything other than my lovely personality. And that was the day I became, well, they call us schools, not the most flattering name, but still beats being vaporized. I mean, it's got its advantages. Main one is that radiation rolls off me like water off a duck's ass. Can stride through a blast zone like it's a spring breeze. Also, means I can survive in situations that would turn a normal person into a TV dinner. The major downside? Well, shit, you're looking at it, right? Head to toe disfiguration. There's also, well, you might have seen them. Not all ghouls are saying. Not sure how it happens, why some ghouls lose their minds and others don't. But ever since I turned, there's always this nagging feeling just at the back of my mind that I will have to feast on humans, Rohan! Serious, come, seriously? Nothing? Shit, I thought it was funny. Overall though, being a ghoul, mixed bag. Can't say I'd recommend it as a lifestyle choice. Listen friend, you happen to be talking to the exact right person to fix your predicament. But if I'm gonna help you, I want something in return. All right, listen, I got this plan. You're gonna help me get rich. See, the folks who made it big off the gold rush, they weren't the prospectors. They were the folks that sold them their shovels. Now, I don't do shovels. What I collect is knowledge. I can go all sorts of places you folks with your rad sucking skin can't. So, I'm selling what I've got between my ear holes, and you're gonna test it for me. I made these hollow tapes. Now this sets all the info I dug up about that camp doohickey you bolters got. All I'm asking is you give them a listen and let me know what you think. You will? Oh, thank you. I mean, <clears throat> thanks. Just come back once you've taken them out for a test drive. Now, there anything else you wanted to chat about? Some other time then.
somebody there? Everything gets damp in this weather. Come on. 